it is said that in the period of Wei Jing, Northern and Southern Dynasty, there is a literati called Wang Huizhi. Wang's life was full of anecdotes. One of his stories is that one day he encountered the famous general Huan Yi, and Huan was also one of the most renowned judo players at that time. Wang said, "I heard that you are good at playing judo. Would you like to play a piece of me?" Huan kindly agreed. And played a piece of music, which was composed by himself. And the piece is Mei Hua San Nong. In Mei Hua San Nong, the theme of the piece has been repeated for three times in different forms. As you know, in Mei Hua San Nong, San means three in Chinese. Therefore, the form of this piece feels like a kind of variations. The music describes the plum tree began to blossom in winter. It contains three parts. In the first part of music, the plum tree are just about to bloom. There are very few flowers. The flowers. Are secretively hidden and haven't bloomed fully yet. The second part, which is second stage of blooming, we can feel the bunches of flowers swaying in the wind. In the end of this part, the composer applied overtone theory in making the music more peaceful. The third part refers to the withered flowers. The flowers withered and fall, implying the coming spring after winter. The music contains lots of tu yin technique in this part, which increases the difficulties of this piece. But you know, the spirit of winter flowers. Will lead us to define all the difficulties and embrace the spring.